Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of the Daily Nature Journal. So it's March and I'm back at Hollyford Woods again to see what's changed since the last time I was here and I'm going to go looking for some orchids as well today and check in on that frog spawn. So let's go. It's a chiff chaff. First one I've heard this year. So I'm back at the pond and delighted to report that the frog spawn has hatched. We've got loads of little tadpoles swimming around in here, so it's really good news. And hopefully they'll continue to be successful here and we'll make it all the way to becoming little frogs. Now this slope faces south towards the sea and it's one of the best places to see the bluebells in April and May. And already they've formed a carpet here. So just imagine what that's going to look like in a month or two's time. So if you'd like to see that, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be bringing you all of the sights of spring from this woodland and I'll be coming here every month throughout the rest of the year. So make sure you're around to see that by clicking that subscribe button. Now this video is also going to be up on my Patreon in an extended format for patrons. So if you'd like to see that, be sure to go and check my Patreon out. And there's that plus loads more available on there now. And that community keeps on growing. And the amount of content keeps on growing accordingly. So if you like what I do, that's the place to go and support me. And I also want to take the moment to thank my current patrons for their support. They've allowed me to continue to grow the channel to devote a little bit more time with it with every pledge and they're just a lovely little community of people so if you'd like to join them you know where to go so i said we'd go on an orchid hunt and here we are i found one so this here is a bluebell but right next to it is an early purple orchid you see the little spots on the leaves and it's a little bit flatter and thicker leaves than a bluebell. It's also already got this central flower spike starting to grow. Now here's something that's worth knowing if you're out looking for the early purple orchids. This is an Aramaculatum, a lords and ladies. As sometimes these can have purple spots on the leaves and a young leaf will look like this. You can tell the difference because the orchid leaves are more like the bluebells, they're pointed, they don't have this lobe here and they don't have a stem like this. They come straight out from the ground like a bluebell in a single thick leaf with no stem. So don't get that confused. So we're going to play a little game. Can you spot the early purple orchid? Easy one to start off with. Pause your video now. Did you get it? There it is. Don't worry, they're going to get harder. I've found another one. Can you see it? You have to look very carefully for these. So that's the second one. So this last one is a tricky one. You can pause it now if you want to. There it is, hidden away, and this is a very well developed one. So let me know in the comments if you managed to get them all. Bonus points if you did it without pausing the video. It's a lovely time to be out early spring. So if you can, make sure you go for a little wonder. And if you can find a patch like this of relatively undisturbed old woodland, there's going to be plenty for you to be seeing. And of course, now that I've seen it, it's time to journal about it. So that's all from this wonderful spot 
in Hollyford Woods. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget that you can see this in the extended form on my Patreon. And make sure you subscribe to see more from this wonderful place. I'll see you next time.